Now, let me tell you the drug of choice or the drug treatment of the various arrhythmias. Right? Summarizing all the arrhythmias, let me tell you what is the drug of choice for the acute therapy, drug of choice for the chronic therapy and associated remarks. Now, you take the type of arrhythmia. Right? You take the type of arrhythmia. Now, for example, you take the type of arrhythmia in case of the atrial fibrillation or the atrial flutter. Right? Atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. Now, what is the drug of choice for acute therapy in atrial fibrillation or the atrial flutter? So, in case of or for acute therapy, the drug of choice is propranolol and as well as the esmolol. Right? Propranolol and as well as esmolol. Now, you take the drug of choice for the chronic therapy. Right? Drug of choice for the chronic therapy. For chronic therapy, the drugs used in a case of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter is we give digoxin. The other drug of choice is your ibutilide. Right? And apart from this digoxin ibutilide, the other drugs what we have is amiodarone and as well as verapamil. Right? Amiodarone and as well as verapamil. Now, there are certain remarks as well. And if you take this particular remarks here, remember only ibutilide is indicated for conversion to sinus rhythm. The other drugs, they control the ventricular rates only. Okay? So, you take the ibutilide. Ibutilide is the only drug which is used for conversion of the atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter to sinus rhythm. The other agents, right, other agents, they control the ventricular rate. Right, other agents, they control the ventricular rates only. Now, so this is in case of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. Now, you take in case of PSVT, that is paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. In PSVT, that is drugs used for acute therapy, they include adenosine. Right? They include adenosine. Now, whereas for the drug of choice for the chronic therapy, they include verapamil, they include sotalol, then propranolol, and as well as amiodarone. Right? As well as the amiodarone. Next. Now, after PSVT, remember, you take in case of VT, that is ventricular tachycardia. In case of ventricular tachycardia, that is for the acute therapy, the drugs given are, right, the drugs given are lignocaine and as well as magnesium. And you take for the chronic therapy. The drugs for the chronic therapy in case of ventricular tachycardia, they include, right, they include sotalol, amiodarone, and apart from this sotalol and amiodarone, we have the other drug that is quinidine. So these are the drugs which are given for the chronic therapy in case of ventricular tachycardia. Next, if you see in case of the ventricular fibrillation. So in case of ventricular fibrillation, you take the acute therapy. The drug of choice for the acute therapy in case of ventricular fibrillation is lignocaine and the other drug apart from the lignocaine it includes bretelium right it includes bretelium now for the chronic therapy in case of ventricular fibrillation we give amiodarone right we give amiodarone now remember cardioversion is the treatment of choice in case of the ventricular fibrillation Right? In case of hemodynamically unstable patients with ventricular fibrillation, cardioversion is the treatment of choice. Next, you take in case of WPW syndrome. Right? WPW syndrome. Now, in WPW syndrome, remember, in, for acute therapy, the drug of choice is flecainide. 
right? The drug of choice is the flecainide. And for chronic therapy, we give propranolol and amiodarone, right? Propranolol and as well as amiodarone. Now, a point what you should remember is in WPW syndrome, remember laser ablation of aberrant pathway is the definitive treatment. So, <clears throat> laser ablation of the aberrant pathway, right? This is the definitive treatment, right? This is the definitive treatment for the Wolf Parkinson's White syndrome. Next, you take the type of arrhythmia that is torsades D pointus. Right, torsades D pointers. In case of torsades D pointers, the drug of choice for acute therapy is your magnesium. Right, the drug of choice for the acute therapy is magnesium. That is for both congenital and as well as acquired long QT syndrome, the drug of choice is magnesium. And but for chronic therapy, we give propranolol. But remember, propranolol, it is only for chronic. Right, propranolol is only for chronic, right? In case of torsades D point is amiodarone should not be used. So remember this point, amiodarone should not be used. Next, you see in case of digitalis induced arrhythmia, right? In case of the digitalis induced arrhythmias. So digitalis induced ventricular arrhythmias, the drug of choice for the acute therapy is lignocaine and as well as phenytoin. Right, lignocaine and as well as phenytoin. And for chronic therapy, we give propranolol. Right, for chronic therapy, we give propranolol. Now, remarks are for bradyarrhythmia, atropine can be used. Right, in case of digitalis induced bradyarrhythmias, atropine can be used. Right, this is for right, this is for the bradyarrhythmias. All right, remember regarding an important point regarding the amiodarone. Amiodarone can be used for the chronic treatment of all arrhythmias except torsades D pointers and digitalis induced arrhythmias. Okay, this is a very very important point regarding the amiodarone. So remember, amiodarone can be used for chronic treatment of all arrhythmias except torsades D pointers and digitalis induced arrhythmias. So this completes the discussion on the anti arrhythmic drugs.